A lot of schools have already closed several, including Providence, plan to have distance learning, while others, including New Bedford schools, say they'll have a traditional snow day. But road crews will be out plowing, sanding, and salting as always. 12 News reporter Brandon Truick uh, continues our pinpoint weather team coverage now live from the Rideout Storage Facility in East Greenwich. Brandon. Well, Shannon, we've been seeing the trucks coming in and out all day long. You can see that massive pile of salt that's being scooped up right now as we come on the air. The trucks come in, they fill up, and then they hit the road. I don't think you can ever be over prepared. Getting ready for whatever winter weather comes our way. But our stock, salt stockpiles are full. Rhode Island's Department of Transportation says it's go time. Joe Bucci helps coordinate the state's game plan. In fact, it's quite literally how he views it. It's no different than the Pats have to do on Sundays, right? You, you have players, you, we, we play with the team that we got, and um, that's our approach to things. We just adapt and we overcome, and we will get the roads clear. Bucci referencing the impacts COVID is having on their operation. He doesn't expect any significant delays. Some things are already in motion. This video taken headed down I-95 South shows the pre-treated roads. That work began Tuesday. I don't anticipate that there will be you know, a major, any major surprises. 60,000 tons of salt stored away. Roughly 500 trucks and plows at their disposal between state and vendor resources. It's a massive operation as big as the storm itself, hitting the roads when the first flakes fall. At the end of it all, we will keep the Rhode Island motoring public safe and the roads will get cleared. So there are two things that the state say are they think going to help them clear all of this snow faster. The first is the fact that it starts snowing after the evening commute. The other is the fact that we're in this extended pause due to the pandemic. Both of those things they are hoping mean less people will be on the road. Live in East Greenwich, Brandon Truett, 12 News.